What's happening guys? We are back for another video here in our audio series. We're getting close to the end here. A few more to go, but today we're talking about the low frequency effects filter. So this is primarily going to be used when you're dealing with a 5.1 surround sound. And this effect can only be applied on a 5.1 channel main output. So it might sound a little confusing. And if you're looking to learn a little bit more about 5.1 surround sound, I'll link to this video up here that I did a while back kind of breaking down 5.1, how to do it in Resolve, and uh, just kind of give you some of the basics to get started creating 5.1 surround sound here in DaVinci Resolve, if you're interested in that. So head on over and check that out. But we're actually gonna jump back to that project now just so I can show you this effect because you can't apply it to just a regular main out. It only goes on a 5.1 channel main out. So the real purpose of this effect is just to cut out all the high frequencies in the EQ for everything that's getting sent to your low frequency effects, which is like your rumbles, your bass, your, you know, your explosions, all the things that would come out of your subwoofer when you think about 5.1 surround sound. So this effect is gonna knock out all those high frequencies because you don't need that, right? For your bass, all you need is those low frequencies, say below, I don't know, 250 hertz, something like that. So we're gonna jump over and resolve. Let's check out the effect. There's not many options here. It's pretty simple. So let's head over here and check it out. So here is that 5.1 surround sound project we had worked on a while back with the video that I linked to before. Now this effect can only be applied on a track level. So you're gonna wanna jump into the Fairlight tab right here. And that's where you're gonna wanna apply this effect. So you wanna make sure you've got your mixer open. You can see all your tracks and everything. Again, up here is your mixer and that's gonna open up your mixer for you so you can see everything down here. Now I'm not gonna go through how to create a 5.1 surround sound a track and all that kind of stuff. But if I take a quick look, uh, there's a few spots that I can tell that my uh, main out here is a surround sound track. If I look right here, you can see I've got multiple uh, audio tracks. And if I just play through, you can see we've got the different levels moving here. So that tells me it's 5.1. I know I set it up as 5.1 over here. You can see there's a 5.1 there, as well as up in my meters at the top here. You can see my channels 11 and 12. They're both 5.1, as well as my main out Number two, right here, 5.1. So I know it's 5.1 main out. So come on over to your effects here and go ahead and click on this plus. Now, if you don't see the effects section here, you probably already know this if you made it this far on this type of project, but you go ahead and click on these three little icons. Come on down here to effects and make sure that you've got that checked on. So come on over to your 5.1 main channel out. Go ahead and click on the plus icon. You're gonna to wanna to come on down to surround and then you have LFE filter. You can go ahead and open that up. So here's our LFE filter window. Let's run over this real quick here. And if you've seen any of the other videos in our audio effects series here, a lot of this is the same at the top. We've got our reset all. We've got these three uh, dots here are the lock plugin window as well as the preset manager. Moving down, you've got a plus button that allows you to set some settings here and create a preset. Right here, this little drop down is going to cycle through your presets. It'll drop down a menu. You can select them. And these guys right here are going to cycle through presets if you have them set up. Right here, we've got our A and B toggles. Link above if you want to learn more about those. You click A, set some settings. Click B, set some different settings. And it allows you to try them back and forth and see what you like better. Moving down, we've got our on off toggle button here. Effect is on when you see it's red. Effect is off when it's gray. Down below that, we have a graphical representation of what's going on with our effect here. So as I mentioned, this is essentially a low pass filter. What does that mean? That means everything that is below our setting is gonna go through to our low frequency effects channel. Anything that's above it in this blue area is all gonna get cut out. So this only starts around 240, looks like a little bit over there. So everything that's above 240 is gonna get cut out on this particular effect. And you've got the options down below that to set your frequency here. You can change that to wherever you want. You can go up to 240 and you can drop it down as low as you want. I'd recommend trying the default settings, see how it works out and see if that's good enough for your clip. The trim here allows you to boost the signal that's going through this effect or you can reduce it. For example, say uh, you need a little more bass in there, you need a little bit more of those low frequency effects that you've got going on. You can just come in here on your trim, dial that up a little bit, and uh, that should do the trick for you to give you a little extra out of there. And likewise, if it's a little too much, you can tone it back by dropping the trim in the negative direction a little bit. And over on the right hand side here, you've got your levels uh, that are coming out of this effect. Now, since this is applied on a main out, this will only affect anything that's on your low frequency effect channel. So if you're not familiar with surround sound, there's different ways to do it. Uh, you know, if I just scroll up here, 
For example, I created several different tracks here. I've got my left channel, my center, my right, and then I've got a channel for my low frequency effects. So that's the only thing that would be affected by this particular effect. And even though you're applying it on a main, it's only gonna affect those low frequency effects in that particular channel within your 5.1 surround sound. So while I can't show you guys exactly how this works on a 5.1 surround sound you know, video, because believe it or not, YouTube doesn't support 5.1 surround sound, right? I didn't know that when I haven't made this video, but I found that out. So what I'm gonna do is actually jump into another project and I'm just gonna use a low pass filter to show you what this would sound like and what it's gonna do. So let's jump into that project just to let you know what it's gonna sound like when it applies the effect to a particular uh, track or to your low frequency effects. So let's jump on this project, check this out real quick. All right, so here we are in another project and just to show you what it would look like if I applied this on a, a track or a main out that is not 5.1 surround sound, this is what you're gonna get here. No LFE channels, processing disabled. So I'm gonna go ahead and just close that. And I'm actually gonna delete it off the track because it ain't gonna do nothing. So in order to kind of emulate this effect here, what I'm gonna do is use the EQ and I'm gonna knock out all the high frequencies. We're gonna set it around 240 or so, so you can see what the low end stuff would sound like. And it's just gonna kind of give you an idea of how that uh, effect, the low frequency effect would work on a 5.1 surround sound track. So check this out. So first let's just play through uh, what we have here and you can hear what these clips sound like without any of this uh, low pass filter applied. Makes me think of a little hip hop in 94, you know what I'm saying? Let's get back to it. All right, so I think you get the idea of what these sound like without any of the low pass filter applied. Now let's throw on the low pass filter and you can just hear the difference here. So let's check it out. So like I mentioned, to throw on the low pass filter, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my EQ. I'm gonna turn on my band one here and I'm actually gonna change uh, my type here to this guy right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's dial this up to uh, about 240-ish or so. Yeah, right about there, 241, looks good. So as you can see, anything in the blue here is gonna get cut out, which is exactly what that low frequency effect is gonna do. So let's play through our tracks here, or our clips I should say, and uh, you could just hear the difference. And I may even roll this back uh, down a little bit. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> turn it off so you can hear just the lower frequencies going through here And just to turn it off here. All right, so there you go. You can kind of see how it's working there and what it does and actually Throwing on a low pass filter like this can be great when you're trying to get some music in the background. You want to kind of dull it down a little bit or something like that. You can do it this way and that actually works pretty good too. Maybe we'll do a quick tip Tuesday on that, huh? But anyway, that's the idea of how that low frequency effect filter works if you use it on a 5.1 main out. So if you don't use surround sound too much, you're probably not going to need this one. And if you do use surround sound, you might already know this or you probably do, right? Probably do. But this is one of the effects here. We need to cover it here. So we've got the complete end-to-end -end coverage of all of our effects here in DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you guys found this one helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.